Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show. I've got like a really cool guest today. Martha Bonetta uh, is an American policy advisor, a commentator, and a farmer who's known for her role in the passage of a landmark right to farm law in the Commonwealth of Virginia. She was also featured in the 2015 documentary film, Farming in Fear. She's passionate about public policy, politics, fundraising, advocacy, nonprofit organizations, coalition building, strategist, and public speaking. She's a business development professional with a doctor of law degree from George Mason University. Martha, welcome to the show. Hello from Washington, DC. Thank you so much for having me. So excited, so excited. Um, and I saw you at the debate, man. I saw you in the crowd, it was amazing. <laughs> You know, we are living in the most extraordinary times. And we truly are. This is the most uh, the most consequential presidential election of our lifetime, my lifetime, definitely, and, and perhaps for you as well. And we are literally witnessing day by day the most extraordinary events unfold before our eyes. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. So let me ask you a question. You grew organic produce on your Liberty Farm in Northern Virginia. Your neighbors considered your farm and its on-farm store to be a nuisance. So they tried to put your farm out of business by threatening you with $15,000 per day fines for hosting a birthday party for eight 10-year-old girls without a permit and advertising pumpkin carvings. How could you? What happened next? Well, you know, it's interesting because I had never been involved in community activism or community engagement. And what this did was, I remember uh, Super Bowl Sunday uh, being on national television. And I remember telling my story. And from that moment, I was so shy, believe it or not, I could barely speak. Now you can't get me to be quiet. And um, from that moment, it started a nationwide movement where regardless of whether you were a farmer or not, the idea that a locality, a government could come in and take away your property rights when we all know freedom stands on the shoulders of property rights. It's, it's one of our most fundamental rights uh, as Americans to have the ability to work hard, to own and possess land and to have the freedom to use that land as you wish. Uh, when that happened, it, it was life changing. And that has started this extraordinary journey in my life um, that's taken me to every corner of, of our nation. We fought back and I'm proud and honored to say we won. We changed the law not once, but twice that's used as a, a, um, a foundation for legislation all across our country to help property rights and to prevent the government from coming in and literally putting their, their, their boot on the neck of hardworking American farmers. Yeah, well, congratulations and thank you, by the way. I'm sure it wasn't easy, you know, to go against the grain like you have, you know, since that event happened. So. It took 10 years. I don't recommend it, but, um, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. And I was, I would have fought for another 10 years if I had to, because it wasn't just about me. It was about saving freedom and property rights for Americans all over our nation. Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. You know, I, 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 let me twist this into the LinkedIn community because this show goes out to my connections, which are about 30,000 business professionals. There's a lot of C-levels that are watching this, um, business founders, um, basically people in business across all different types of industries and sizes of, 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 uh, of business coast to coast. What's the message? What's the one thing that you want to tell business people in America today? Well, you know, we've just experienced COVID with nationwide shutdowns, really the small business owner in particular really suffering. You know, I go to Manhattan quite a bit to do media and news and policy talks and to go and visit some of the places I've gone to since I was a, literally a little girl and most recently as an adult to see them shut down, boarded up, just broke my heart. And I think that the message is, we live in the greatest nation on earth where no matter who you are, no matter what you believe in, you can be anything you want in life. And to be not afraid, and America is coming back. We, we are part of the great American comeback right now. Our small businesses are going to come back. Our economy is going to be booming. And to just know that the best is literally yet to come. And we have to get through this difficult time as we transition from having you know, businesses all across our nation shut down 
But um, at, in the end, you're going to see truly the, the great American comeback, even greater than we ever imagined. Yeah, I, I, I faith in the American dream. I, I agree with you 110 percent on that one. I definitely see that and and hope that as well. Um, Martha, we I always close the show with a like a little known personal fact about yourself um, that I'd like you to share. I want to invite people to Google you because I had so much fun reading and and about you and your exploits and what you're involved in and seeing, you know, video clips of you being interviewed on shows and stuff. So um, why don't you tell the viewers a, a fun or entertaining little known fact, if there is one that hasn't been sure. plastered all over, all yeah. over YouTube about uh, yourself. Well, well there, there's, there's quite a few, I guess, uh, you know, I'm living, breathing proof that the little guy can fight back and win against big bad government. So number one, you know, be not afraid in that way. But, uh, but also there's a documentary film made about me. It's shown in universities all across our nation. It's called Farming in Fear. It's an acclaimed film and it teaches people to, uh, to not be afraid to fight back to live the American dream. Let's see, I've been to 89 countries. I, uh, I, I, it's amazing how small our world is when you have the opportunity to experience different cultures. And, and that's one of the things that make our nation the greatest nation on earth. We, we are a nation that's made of people from all over the world. And uh, to have had the opportunity to explore and visit different parts of, of this planet has been a blessing of a lifetime. Well, Martha, I wanna thank you for being on the show. Your energy and passion for what you do, it, it, it's magnetic and it just draws people in. So continue on this path. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch you and, and root for you from afar, but um, I just want to thank you very, very much for being on the show today. And I want to thank you too for your show and for your message. Uh, it, it's just, it's just so, such an honor to know you. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you, and thanks for watching, everybody.